All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balance Diet of Teletainment. Now, if you check here, I'm going to go see so the next person will get inside the building. Now, somebody with a very passionate as well on top of the project and the work where she they do. She now the chief coach, um, coaching officer at the Yetende Bernard Company with a personal brand and personality development agency. But not be branding she actually can't talk about today. Today, <laughs> she now convener of the Recall Conference for Men. This one are the first unbiased city center conference for men for inside um, Africa with about 2,000 members where they get for inside the community. Now, this will be the first time where they do them. Um, this is the second edition because they get the first edition where they do last year and the turn up was a very fantastic one. Now, this particular one, what would they call recall? Now, identity coaching solution for beginning or a new beginning. Of course, different things there on top of this project where she done the inside studio here to took them out on top. And that's now why we get in person Yetunde Bankole Bernard in the building. Thank you. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fantastic. I did. It's fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful. So, we will talk about this recall now because yeah. you'll be a woman and you do something for men. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm trying to understand how. <laughs> What to make you think um? What to make you believe say you go fit to handle them? Because this is not the first edition. Yeah, yeah. So tell us okay, about so I, it. Um, all of my life, I, I feel like all of my life has prepared me for where I am right now. I've always been that person. I grew up, you know, with um, older siblings. So my brother's friends were like, you know, between 11 and 15, 20 years older. And I always used to hang with them. So I knew things I wasn't, you know, supposed to know. And I didn't understand why. So, for instance, I knew how to toast a cheek. I knew when they were, you know, the side cheeks. I knew all of those things. I'm, oh, I'm like a, a guy's girl. Mm -hmm. And so growing up, I just always had that flair for things that men do. Or I just always understood. And so, obviously, by the time you, you translate into yourself and you begin to grow older, you begin to look for purpose and identify what really your life's goals are about. And so I found myself thinking about what's happening, really. There's so many interventions for women. They will never be enough, right? Women, there will never be enough interventions for men, for women. However, what's happening is that we have tilted so much that we forget that a group of people also need some attention. While we have all of that because we deserve it and we need it, this other side of people need some attention too, not just some, a lot of attention. Yeah. So what happens is like in the African setting, we know that the boy or the boy child, generally he grows up entitled. He feels like once they say, oh, oh yeah, well, did you have a boy again? Say boy, the way they, everybody looks, hey boy, this, this, this. But you know, so he grows up entitled. The girls do all the work, they do this, they do that. the boys just, boy, boy will always be a boy, just leave him. Then what happens is that he grows. And when it's about 18, 19, 20, the dynamics change. They just begin to demand, oh yeah, provide for this. Oh yeah, give us that. And then he just realized that this is the real world, man. I, I need to provide something. And then the hustle becomes real. Mm. So what happens is that he just really doesn't know. So a lot of them, a lot of, especially in the African states, you just stumble on success or stumble on, and you hustle, hustle, hustle. Even the people that are successful today, they are still hustling. So what happens is that, and then the thing about it is that this group of people don't generally have time to gather younger people and tell them, oh, this is how. So you see young people just say, oh, I like your watch. Now, if I can just have your watch. They're not really telling him. You smile. Guys, you know, they will smile. They're not really telling him that this watch, you don't even want to know my sweat. You don't want to know what I have had to do. So there are so many um, interpretations of what success is, of what family is, of what wealth is. You know, sustainability, people just want to blow. So recall for men is that resource center where men can get all of the information and all the help they need to be a 21st century man because the dynamics are completely different. Now, looking at the facts, say, and a very beautiful thing they do for the men, but then again, some people, they come outside, they ask questions. You be a woman. Mm -hmm. Don't be a woman, they reason. Even though you grow amongst men yeah. or amongst boys, you still be woman. Yeah. The way a woman they reason, the way a woman they tackle solution when she gets challenged, yeah. they're totally different from the way a woman, a man will tackle them. Yeah. For a lot of toxic men, they be like one way streets. <laughs> and they be like, they toxic women, they like with a multi, multi function, yes. with a multi tax. Mm -hmm. So, how, how challenging it don't they when you be start the first project last year? How you be take convince people, say you as a woman can think like a man? Okay, so here's the thing. I don't. Um, say that I can think like a man. I think like a woman because I'm a woman. However, recall for men is a solution for men by men. Meaning that I talk to, I speak to the men that I know that these people do not generally have access to. 
and make sure that they do the work. They are the ones committed to this project. So when it all started out, I was really in the background. I still am. In fact, today, the guys had already said, no, why would we be going? You are the one going for this interview. I said, ah, no, if we should go and do this interview. And then he were like, no, you must go this time because I'm on the background. What I'm doing is offering that push and offering that support, which is what really a woman does. So I'm on the background. The guys, um, so we have on the team, the whole project team, we maybe have two ladies, they are majority men, of men. The volunteer team is men. When we sat down to create the, um, the program for this year, the men talked about the things they're interested in. So they tell you, oh, right now, these are the courses that we're interested in. These are the topics we're interested in. In our weekly newsletters, because since last year, we just, it's not just a conference. Mm. So we have a community, we you know, um, send newsletters, we send Monday motivations, we do all of that. So the men put it together and say, but then obviously why we be as a woman just hovers over it and say, and hey, you put nothing of this part. Oh yeah, remove <laughs> that part, add this part. So that's what I'm doing. Beautiful. Great, now tell us, because I know you get events when they come up this Saturday. Yeah. Um, tell us the focus of the event. I mean, you get any sector owner they look into, or um, is there anything... Is there anything like agriculture? Wait, wait, just tell us the medicine. Did you know that before? I just think, ah, because I mean, I'm just looking like. Are you saying that's the women? That's the woman, the that's the woman cost, side. Or the seven cost meal. <laughs> that's that's the, the woman side. Give that okay, so on Saturday, yes. um, we have. So they have a, where, where be the place where they have landmark on events. Center. Landmark events. Center. Registration starts at nine a.m. Nine a.m. Nine a.m. So we have it's split into like three basic sections. Okay. So the conference starts. The conference is free. Mm. And it's open to all men between the ages of, say, about 18, but practically about 20, actually, to 35. 35. And then we now have a mentors community, which is 40 to 55. So mentors can actually just walk in or ask for RSVP, um, ask for VIP cards, and then we, they RSVP, and then they can attend as well. So the conference itself is focusing on three topics, against all odds, um, relationship and relevance, and talent and digital evolution. So we have um, three... We have three dynamic speakers. Against all odds is a guy called George Marcel. He currently runs an NGO with Will Smith in Mozambique. So we're flying him in because remember, this is an African intervention. So it's, a, it's um, common to Africans. So he's going to talk about against all odds, giving hope, faith for, for guys um, to be able to go to the next level of their lives. And then we have relationship and relevance, and we have Richard Mufet Damijo. And obviously, RMD is someone that has cut across generations. So he's going to talk about re how to handle relationships and how to remain relevant in whatever fields that you want to, to be in. And then we have a guy called Bizul Oshikoya taking talent and digital evolution. Now, Bizul um, runs um, with his partner, a Asha Asika. They run the plug. And so they're able to tell you how do you just take your talent from being something on your laps or in your head to digital space. So they are going to talk about those vital topics within um, the space of about two hours. That's the conference itself. Then we now have master classes in particular industries. For those that are interested in these industries, we have agriculture, mm. we have fintech and e-commerce, we have media and entertainment, and we have music gone global. Now, remember that the guys put this together, and they're like, these are the things that are happening right now, and this is what we really want master classes in. So that's what we're doing this, um, this Saturday. Beautiful. So now I know say, of course, the conference is free. Yes. Um, but they get any other fee where yeah. they are available. Tell us about the So fees. the I master mean, classes... The guys are capable. They need to get us. <laughs> the master classes come at a fee of 10K. Why? Because we need to be sure that this is something you really want. Mm -hmm. And if you really want something, you've got to be able to put something down for it so that it's worth your while and worth the while of the people that are giving you all of themselves. So these people are really very um, busy. However, we have locked them down for this day. So the master classes come at a fee. However, um, we have two sponsors, Payport and Finchglow Group, who have given funds and they said, if you have a fantastic idea, startup SME, you have up to 1 million um, available in funding grant for, for, your, the men. for your men, for the men, but it's only for those that have paid for the master classes because they know that, okay, you are willing to give something, we are willing to give you something, something to too. Turn. Beautiful. So that's what it is. I mean, it's a very beautiful woman. And we, look, we hear of similar things like this for women. But this coming up for the men, it's a very good one. Look at what this video, because we then we hear, so the vice president actually gave you an endorsement on top of this project, where YBB don't come outside the yarn about. Make a watch them. May I begin by thanking the conveners of Recall for Men, 
for the very kind invitation to speak to you today. A generation of phenomenal men is arising. African men equipped to provide solutions to the many challenges of Africa. Yes, the hustle is real and so it's time to maximize the hustle. We call for Men Conference 2019 holds on the 21st of September at the Landmark Event Center, Victoria Island, Lagos. Time 9 a.m. prompt. Theme, maximize your hustle. Book your masterclass tickets with experts in agriculture, media and entertainment, music gone global, fintech and e-commerce. Connect with speakers on crucial topics, relationship and relevance, Richard Moffat Damage, talent and digital evolution, Bizolo Shikoya, against all odds, George Mazel. Register now at www.recallformen.com. Be called for men is a trademark of the Yetunde Bernard Company. All right, the Yetunde Bernard Company, now be the person with the, will be the convener. And the lady herself is right here in the studio actually telling us all about, um, about the project. And it's happening this Saturday yes. for the Landmark Center. Of course, registration is at 9 a.m. sharp. No, no African time. So <laughs> let us know one more time and before Waka come off inside the studio. Tell us about the project, um, the time, the venue, and everything where people need to expect. Okay, so we call for men conference this Saturday at the Landmark Event Center. Registration starts at 9 o'clock. However, you need to register online so we can prepare for you. We already have so many registrations, but we're willing to take much more because this is for all men aged 20 to 35. For the VIP community, 40 to 55, you, you can request for a, for, um, a VIP card. Um, so you can also do all of that on www.recallformen.com. Recall for men.com. Yes. Beautiful. Thank Beautiful you so projects. much. I mean, we're always here to support you. As of yet, Max TV is always Thank here you, as to support on top of this kind of project where you do. We wish you the very, very best. Thank you so much. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.